Hello everyone, it's Chris here again. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing quite well with the coins. 10.5 million. Still have a good team as well. I'm just about to buy uh, Alexis Sanchez back again. Because I made profit on him last time. So hopefully I do make profit on him again. Let's say. Uh, I'll show you my team at the minute. It's not half bad, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's amazing, I wouldn't say it's good, but it's okay. Uh, as you can see, 10.1 million still. So, it's not like I don't have profit. Uh, at the minute, uh, that's my team. Sanchez is going to go there. So, that's my team there. Which isn't bad. Considering how much coins I actually have, it's an okay team. Uh, my profit margin is very good as well. I'll choose that as well because, you know, why not? Uh, let's see. All time, no friends. Yeah. Uh, that's my transfer profit. I gave away a total of three players yesterday. Uh, near 600,000, so it's 999,000, and within three, 12 hours I've made 700,000, and then in total I've made 18.9 million. Right? Uh, today I'll be giving away uh, one of the players that I actually have on my transfer list. I bought, I bought two of them earlier, so I was able to give one away as well. It will be Diego Gutscher. I'm not per I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right, but he's the man of the match and he's actually valued at seventy three thousand five hundred, but it's actually seventy five K his total value is. Uh so if you um if you don't win him then it looks like I'll be selling them, but hopefully someone wins him. Uh it'll probably be a number between well, I've got 20, 21 subscribers now, so I'm going to go for a number between 1 and 23. And I'll put it up for a space of 3, we'll say, we'll say 3 days. So today's Tuesday, so up until Friday. Friday midnight, it will be. And, uh, yeah, and uh, the other thing I wanted to do in this video at the end of it, I will be editing, but I'll have it at the very end of the video, so you'll have to watch the video to get to the end. It will be the best goals, well not, the best goals I've scored recently. Uh, I'll be putting them up, but there's one of the goals that's a headed uh, goal, like Van Persie's, that's not my goal. But my nephew gave me that goal, so I uh, put it on, so he has to have to give him credit for that goal. It's what a goal as well. It's as close as I've seen the Van Persie diving header. And now I'm going to show you all my consoles. Starting with a Nintendo Wii, which is quite a good console, just not enough games. Vita, for me, the most powerfulest gaming device in the world to me. An OLED. That, uh, the, between the Game Boy the Game Boy SP, the Game Boy, Nintendo Game Boy, I have actually two of them, and my Game Boy Advance, I probably have about 40 games for them. Uh, that's the Halo Xbox, the limited edition one. I also have the original Xbox as well. Uh, I have about 70 games for them. That's the 16-bit generation, if anyone's a fan of Sega. There's the Sega uh, Mega Drive. And then there's the Sega Mega Drive 2, which I have. I also have a PS3, but the Blu-ray drive is broken up. So I have to get a new uh, PS3 soon. It's my Xbox 360. To me, the games for the Xbox 360 were not good, personally. GameCube, to me, the best... Uh, it's the best Nintendo console ever, just for games. The games on it is ridiculous. The PS1... To me, the cutest console ever made. It is so small, but so powerful. And the games for the PS1 is crazy. There's 24,000 games in total. I, I have just slightly over 100. The Nintendo 64, I like that. I like that, but the reason why the... The reason why the controller was designed the way it was is because the Nintendo 64 actually was the first console to do 3D graphics. So you were able not to go from... 
sideways, you're able to go any direction in 3D. And that's why it had that analogue, which was quite annoying. But anyway, good console. PS2, that's my PS2 I've had since I was oh, about a teenager. So that's quite an old console. Dreamcast, I didn't really get into the Dreamcast to me. The the problem with the Dreamcast was that it didn't have enough blockbuster games to keep it going and I think that's why we never got another Sega console after that. The Super Nintendo to me is an amazing console. It has amazing games. Uh, Super Mario Kart, Adam's Family. Uh, it has three different Street Fighters on it. It has Zelda. Uh, some of the games that are on it I don't have, like Zelda I don't have, which is pity because Zelda games are very 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 dear. Same for Mega Man as well. Uh, I would like the, the Nintendo Entertainment System. I don't have that because I want the Mega Man games but they start at about £100 to £150. Pound. Uh, there's the PS1 I have as well. The original PlayStation. Amazing. I'm sure everyone has goosebumps when they see if they turn that on again and you know, heard the noise of when you know, the PlayStation originally comes on. Probably the best introduction to a console ever. Uh, that is my Nintendo Wii. I'm waiting for Super Smash Bros. to come out. I'm going to buy Mario Kart 8 soon because it looks just so fun. That's my steering wheel for my uh, Gran Turismo. Ah, can't be Gran Turismo. And uh, that's it, pretty much. That's all my consoles. It's not a bad collection. But anyway, uh, yeah. And uh, if you stay tuned, and uh, I will be doing my giveaway probably in the next hour and a half maybe. And good luck everyone. And if you just do get the number right, then all you just have to do is, you don't have to try and get me on Facebook, because you probably won't unless you know me. So just get me on YouTube or Gmail and send me your PS4. This FIFA is on PS4, just to let everyone know. So. If you get me on the Gmail or YouTube and just type the number in, and if you get the number right, I'll be checking it constantly, so I'll let you all know. And uh, good luck and thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And here's the shot, kept out by a player getting in the way of the shot. Challenges for the ball. Neymar. That is why. I, that's why I bought these for three point four million. Because we bought them. We're the closest thing to them. Setting the standards looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. It's a very crisp challenge there. Neymar. He's in the clear. Could it be? And it's in the net for the goal. Let them down when he gets his point down. He puts it in the corner. Look at that man. He's never getting to him. I swear. He's never getting to him. Good viewing for the defenders. Factor in their defenders getting some goals. Now, this fellow's got one at an important time. Yeah, but not too many. Bit of a collector's item for this lad, so no wonder he's happy. I think the keeper's hoping the post was going to come to his rescue, and he didn't quite, did it? So, after the goal, we've opened the scoring here 1 0. And Beer. And he gets it back again quickly. Ivan Rakitic. Marco Mari. Kala. Karim Benzema. Here is uh, Chavi. Sanchez. He's a natural finisher, this guy, looking for another goal. Brilliant opening. Now Juan Fran with the cross. Neymar! What a good way to score.
Well, he's taken his chance brilliantly, just like the one a couple of minutes ago, and they've got two in the matter of moments. Oh, their fans are buzzing and so... Oh, so one crack with the cross. Benzema! Some people oh, well have reached by the keeper to turn it away. The PS1 is definitely one of the what a freaking goal! That's getting uprooted in my channel. What a freaking goal! Great day for both the teams. It's a great day for us as commentators as well. We love to have the... And he dives in! Tondo. Oh no, that doesn't work in the team. Right? No, I don't know what to do. Now Iniesta. Shit, uh, oh, it has to be! What Iniesta! A... And it's in from Iniesta! Well, he's not known for his goal scoring, but you wouldn't have bought it looking at that. 